All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this this right here, this might hurt a, a lot of people's feelings, but I don't really care um, because this, this needs to be said. Sometimes I feel like Detroit Lions fans have to be, some of them, the worst fan base on the planet, right? Now, some of you may or may not know about this thing that's been sweeping the nation, uh, the, the Detroit Rams. Somebody in locally made a shirt called the D, I guess the company is called the D line and they made a shirt and it has a abomination logo, a mixture of the two, the old Rams and like a cowardly looking lion. And I, I've been very upset about this. I've had to kind of take a break and, and not make any content um, during that time because I was very, very upset about this, how we can be. Somebody left a comment on my other channel that Buying the t-shirts will put the Fords on notice. So let me get this straight. So you think that buying a t-shirt that will shrink the first time you wear it of a company from a company that's going to pocket 100% of the proceeds, this itty bitty company, even if they got a substantial backing, is going to put a million dollar organization, maybe even billions, as in the Ford organization, on notice. They don't even care about their cars like they do, like you think they do, right? I've owned a Ford, I know. You think that buying a Detroit Ram shirt is going to put the Detroit, the Ford organization on notice. Well, let me remind you that they've owned this organization for over 60 years and nothing has put them on notice. And instead of rooting or looking at a team that's never been to the Super Bowl, mind you, that gives us more hope than anything else, you're going to root for an abomination logo for a man who used to play for this team. Let me ask you something, Detroit Lions fans. When Matthew Stafford, if Matthew Stafford wins the Super Bowl, what do you think that's going to do for your city? You think he's going to have a Detroit? He's, you think he's going to fly everybody down there to ha have a parade? You think the Ford organization is going to fly every fan down there to join the parade? So what if he shouts out Detroit, which he won't? But so what? I, I, I just, I don't understand our fan base. What we do, though, is we will buy a, a cutout for 150 American dollars to put in an empty stadium. We will go and we will fly to L.A. We will go and we will buy every single, some of us, all we wear is Lions merchandise. But you buying a Detroit Ram shirt is going to put a million dollar organization on on notice how about we stop watching the games how about we stop buying merchandise how about we stop going to the stadium i swear man we deserve everything we get we choose to stay and rep this organization we choose to stay and we're so sad okay that we are going to <laughs> we're so sad and pathetic and i'm talking about all of us that we are projecting our excitement and our hope on a man who used to play for our team. I don't understand this. Pick a new team. How pathetic. I want everybody who has an ex, call the ex and tell her that you hope she does better and that you are rooting for her. Do that for me, please. And while you're at it, why don't you get a logo with your face on it your last name, his last name, and wear it tomorrow. Why don't you do that? I don't understand. We choose to stay here and rep this team. We choose to stay here and rep this city. And we think that a Detroit Rams abomination shirt is going to put the Ford organization on notice. Let me tell you something. If Matthew Stafford wins this thing and he's on, he's, he's having a parade, you're going to be sad and lonely. It's going to last. It's going to be just like doing a drug. Right. Which I don't condone. Just like you have, you guys drink coffee. I drink Red Bull and I need my Red Bull in the morning. If I don't have it, I'm looking all over the place for it. You know why? I got, got that caffeine in it, man. And I need it. That's how y'all going. But after I get it, I'm straight. When Matthew Stafford wins the Super Bowl, if he does, and it does nothing for you. You tell me how you feel then. When you come down from your Stafford high, you tell me how you, you tell me if the Ford organization is going to. They let him go, mind you. They let him pick where he wanted to go. Now, I think the deal is better, but they let him pick where he, but this is the, you're going to put them on notice. That's 
a joke. Come on, y'all. Either rep the fan base and deal with everything, either rep this team and deal with everything, or you stop supporting them, period. You can complain about it. That's fine. That's fine. That's what I do. I'm very good at it, too. But don't you dare buy a Detroit Ram shirt and tell me that you're going to put the Ford organization on notice with a cheap shirt that's going to shrink the first time you put it in the dryer. Ooh, I'm the Fords, and I'm so scared of that. Get up out of here, man. I'm telling you, something is wrong. We, something wrong with us. We like pain and torture. We like it. We like this, man. I swear, Detroit Lions fans, we love pain. We don't know what it feels like to win. So we love this. We love being lovable losers. Because how else do we explain rooting for the Detroit Rams? This is not the video I wanted to make today. But I'm feeling some type of way today. I'm tired. I'm ready for this thing to be over. Y'all don't understand, man. If Stafford wins the Super Bowl, we will never. You think the Ford organization, all I keep hearing is the Fords need to take notice and, and land. You think they care? We're the ones that have to live with that. As you rep, do you see Sheila Ford wearing Lions gear? No, you don't. We do. And you have to look like an idiot while you're walking around. Come on, man. They pocket the money. That's what they do because we give it to them. So we can look like fools as we walk along the street with Lions. We deserve everything we get. Anyway. This is going to do more harm for our city, more harm for our team than good. Anyway.